Austin Jackson. Morrow gets set and delivers. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, right there, there was a lot of indecision right there on the hitter. He thought fastball. He saw a slider, but he saw it too late. And that's why he swung late. Here's the pitch. Swung on line to right center field. And the leadoff man of this ball game's on board. Let's see if they get it started early. You got a chance to check out the Blue Jays defensively around the horn. And uh, scouting those fielders, John. Well, one of the most electrifying players offensively in baseball is Jose Reyes. But also defensively, he can bring some electricity to that position also. A highlight reel every single time he takes the field. And an unbelievable cannon of an arm. Just love watching this kid play the position of shortstop with the joy and passion that he does. And Torrey Hunter up. A very nice 3.08 career batting average for him against oh. Brandon Morrow. Fastball misses away, 1 0. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. Here's the pitch. And he takes a called strike to make it 1 1. Oh, he has great rotation on his breaking ball right here, and he hits the perfect spot. The hitter just gave up on it. Taken by Hunter. That's high for a ball. Straight he two. watches the fastball go by. Now it's two and two. He let that four-seam fastball go up and in in the zone. It's up in his eyes. You can see it well. He just couldn't pull the trigger. And Torrey Hunter's come up empty with that swing. Strike three, he's gone. Took a big hack at that one up in the zone. He's going to be seeing that one in his dreams all night long. So with one away, it'll be Miguel Cabrera. Well, one thing you can count on the Blue Jays to do is hit the ball out of the ballpark. They continue to pile up the long balls in 2012. Sixth overall in home runs in the majors, and it was a big part of that offense. Jackson's on first. Oh. And Morrow misses outside, take it for a ball. When you think about Toronto and those big home run numbers last season, maybe most impressive they did it without their big slugger, Jose Bautista, shelled for a big part of the year, John. Yeah, it shows you that they have other weapons in that lineup besides Jose Bautista, and now they might have added speed to that lineup in the offseason. They're going to be more dynamic, a team not just relying on the long ball. He delivers. Swing and a line at a right center. This one into the alleyway. Should be extra bases. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. And Jackson crosses the plate. Well, he found a pitch to his liking. And just like that, it's one nothing here in the first inning thanks to that big RBI double. So with the runner in scoring position to the plate, Prince Fielder. Getting out in front any time of the ball game, you want to do that. Now you try and build on it. And this sort of production is just the way you want to start out the game. Oh, and what? Moreau gets it by, called strike one, 0-1. One, one. And as John was saying, you get this offense rolling early like this, you really got to keep momentum while you can, Steve. And that's going to be the issue now for the pitcher. Can he try to clamp down and give his own offense the chance to keep in it? Fielder isn't fooled by that one, and Prince has evened up the count. And Miguel Cabrera's got to get most of the fanfare, and deservedly so. I mean, after all, you want a triple crown. But you got to give a big thank you to Prince Fielder. Fielder did an amazing job protecting him on the long season. 1-1 pitch, slider, taken for a strike, 1-2. and two. 
And you know, with Fielder protecting Cabrera, it really was a big part as he made that push against pitchers. They had nowhere to go. And uh, with Prince on deck, you got to pitch to him, Steve. Now remember, not the first time he's backed up an MVP. He also backed up Ryan Braun in Milwaukee. Cabrera in Detroit. This guy is a force as well. If you put runners on base in front of him, he's going to drive them in. Full count. That misses below the knees. That'll run us to the full 3-2 count. Good spot there. Just down a little bit out of the zone. Tried to get him to chase. He wouldn't go for it. And he won't get the call here, so that'll be a free pass. Well, he just keeps missing the strike zone, and patience on the hitter's part earns the base on ball. Here's Victor Martinez now with the RBI hope. Well, what types of pitches have been put in play here today? Here's a quick breakdown of exactly that. That four-seam fastball of his, it's gotten hit twice already. You know, it's interesting, the same pitch being hit twice. You wonder whether or not they figured something out or just it's fluky, but they've got to be careful not to give up any more damage than just one run. Foul. Martinez makes contact, fouled it away. And Moreau's pitch too low, taken for a ball. I love the plan, though. Keep that fastball low and stay out of trouble. The hitter just laid off a tough pitch. It's fouled off. Foul. The pitch swings, lines this one back up the middle. Nope. The second for one and two. Double play. Off to a good start here. They put one over in the first. Detroit leads it here one to nothing. And Annabelle Sanchez gets ready to throw. He's starting for Detroit. Steve, he's got to focus here. Toronto hitters, what's he thinking about? That swung on and flied to right. And Reyes is set down. That's one away. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, if Jose Reyes gets this thing going, he's going to be a nightmare for the opposing team because you don't want to walk him because you know he can steal, but you don't want to just throw something over the plate because he can take you out. No luck that time for Sanchez as he misses inside. The Tigers not a very good team on the road during the regular season. Actually, the only team to make the playoffs in the American League to finish with a below 500 mark as they went 38 and 43 last season. And Cabrera swings, hits it. That falls in. First hit of the ball game for this club. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. We were talking about the Tigers on the road. They weren't that great, as Steve said, during the regular season. But they came up big a few times in the postseason. Well, they really did. They had to win that game five in Oakland. They did that. And what an amazing performance from them. And then they just kept winning on the road in the postseason until they got to the World Series, Gary. Sanchez gets set and delivered. Oh. And Bautista lays off that low pitch. Jose Bautista has arguably been the best source of power in the majors over the last few years. 54 homers in 2010, 43 and 11. 27 was uh, leading the way last year when he got injured. And Sanchez doesn't get that one in. Going back to Bautista, fans got what they wanted last year when they saw him compete in that home run derby. He had finished second, but man, did he crush some balls. I mean, to call him a late bloomer with power is just an understatement. Before his breakout season in 2010, the most home runs he ever hit was 16 with the Pirates in 2006. No doubt he's an elite power hitter now, though. Full count. That's in there to make it three and two. I don't think he likes that call, but when you're diving out over the plate, sometimes that fastball up and in doesn't look like a strike even when it is. And here's the 3-2. 
And that one misses. That'll be ball four. Well, he needs to be careful here. Don't give them free base runners. Make them earn it. Really tense situation when you think about it. A long, long at bat. He stayed patient. He earned that walk right there. What a great approach at the plate. Edwin and Canacion looking to knock in a run here. A three for seven career batter off Sanchez. Bautista's on at first. Cabrera's holding on at second. Fastball in the dirt. Good block by the catcher. And a called strike on Sanchez's pitch evens it at one. Slider just off the black that time, two and one. Now the two one. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. Two away. And they'll try and hold the runners second and first. They stay. Now we'll take a quick look at the Tigers and how they're out there positionally on defense. And John, how about uh, individual factors out there? Austin Jackson's a highlight reel waiting to happen. An unbelievable athlete who's not afraid to run into a wall, dive for balls to make great catches. When you're an outfielder, you're not afraid to make mistakes. More often than not, you're going to help your team by being aggressive. Here's Colby Rasmus now with two down. Hitting well this matchup, 294 lifetime against the Tigers. The pitch starts him out with a slider for a strike. You know, if I'm batting right here, I know the pitcher's tendencies. In the scouting report, I'm looking for a fastball on the 0-1 count. Ball. Good patience as Colby Rasmus lets that one go by, and the count is even. He went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. Jackson. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Annabelle Sanchez, that's some nice pitching. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. Next up, Tigers. A crisp day here at the ball yard. Temperatures might be dropping a bit later on towards the evening. It's Dirks at the plate. And Moreau's pitch too low, taken for a ball. Right. 1 0 pitch, tight little curveball right there. It's in there, 1 1. Look here, he gets a strike on that curveball down and in. Now let's see if he goes hard away on the next pitch. And he pops it up, foul territory behind third. And it's caught by Laurie. And we're going to see Peralta here. For his career, 253 off Toronto. Morrow gets set and delivers. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Well, the pitcher's executing his game plan. He knows these hitters. He knows how he wants to pitch them. And now he's locating his pitches in exactly the right spot. And Peralta will take that one low. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. This one rolls through to the wall. That's going to bring up Alex Avila. Well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one-out base hit. No luck for Morrow as he misses inside.
at the belt, the 1 0. And a swing and a miss by Alex Avila, and the count is knotted up. One for two lifetime against Morrow. And here's the pitch. Watches that fastball go by, and now he's at one and two. The one two pitch. Good eye by Alex Avila as he lays off that pitch, and that'll even up his count. Let's take a look at how this pitcher has been utilizing his arsenal of pitches. Here's a swing and a ground ball. He picks it up. There's one. And two, they pull off the double play. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Tigers one, Toronto nothing. Looking ahead, six, seven, eight, they're due up. And this afternoon, hitters, they're not going to have to worry too much about the shadows. Pretty much a cloudy day. And in the batter's box, it's Lori. He fouls that one off. Headed for the middle. Infante feels it. So Laurie is retired. And Lynn's batting. And Sanchez has him 0-1 with that called strike. Ball one. That one's in the dirt. Nice stop. Here's the delivery. Strike and the called strike taken by Lynn. Look, Gary, awfully tough to read this pitch out of his hand. He has great deception, makes it look like a fastball. It just comes out so much slower. And the one-two from Sanchez. You're and Adam Lynn unable to get a swing off on that. That's strike three. He's gone. A good break on a 90-mile-an-hour pitch. Boy, it looks like he froze him on the outside corner. He sure did. As a hitter, you've got to recognize a pitcher's tendencies up there. I think the pitcher had him guessing up there the whole at bat. And it's Aaron Sebia coming up. Career three for 15 off the Tigers. There's really no explanation of why he has trouble against this team, but he struggles against every pitcher. Foul. Fouled off. No balls, one strike. Sanchez. Strike two. Oh, one as a slider for a call strike. You better be ready to swing with this guy. He does not waste pitches. Look for that heater. Ball. Fastball is a waste pitch that time. One and two. And J.P. Arancibia looks at that one. It's a ball. That's going to even up the count. That one goes foul. Circle change misses, and it's full, three and two. Well, that's a tough pitch right there to lay off of. That change up down and away and out of the strike zone. But the hitter must have been looking for it because he wasn't fooled at all. 
And on a full count. Hit on the ground. Infante feels it. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. Toronto still looking for the offense. You hope things work your way. Let's see whether or not they are for Jim Leland. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. Infante at the plate. Oh and Morrow misses outside. Take it for a ball. Well, Gary, they're going to have to watch the slider. I mean, that is his put away pitch right here. So you've got to be able to guard against the break on that pitch. The pitch. Swing and a high bouncer to second. And that is not in time. He's aboard at first. Oh, they did not want to do that. Well, that's going to bring Austin Jackson to the plate. Already had success so far in this one. He got a single off Morrow. You know, he could be sitting on that four-seam fastball this time again, just waiting for that pitch, setting him up to try to drive another one. Yeah, and that single he had last time didn't drive anyone in. However, he showed he can hit him and is looking to get something in the gap to bring home the guy on first. Well, you've got the lead right now oh. with speed on first base. You have to get him going. I think, Gary, keep the pressure on. Keep trying to tack on some runs. The 1-0 pitch. And it's fouled away. On the way. Cuts on that fastball. Can't make contact one and two. That fastball up and in is one of the toughest pitches to hit because most hitters have a hole right there. You just can't get the bat head to the ball. The one two on its way. Swing and a miss. That's it. Austin Jackson retired on the K. Well, whatever the setup was that he wanted, he got it, and he was off balance at the plate. Well, a great sequence of pitches right there to keep the batter off balance and a great approach by the pitcher. And it's Torrey Hunter at the plate with one away. One of the great fielding outfielders of all time, Torrey Hunter. He gets so much attention for how he can play any outfield position. People often overlook that he's also had a great career at the plate. First pitch of the A.B. Fastball just misses. 1-0. Tell you about the offensive numbers. 400 last year. 92 runs. He hit 313. So Steve, definitely more than just the great D. Well, listen, Torrey Hunter hit one of the best spots in all of baseball. Behind Mike Trout in front of Albert Pujols. Couldn't be better. However, behind Austin Jackson in front of Miguel Cabrera, not a bad spot either with the Titans. Two away. Well, I thought they had a shot at a double play right there, but at least they got one out. But now a runner in scoring position at second base. Miguel Cabrera with a runner in scoring position. Doubled home a run in his last at bat. He delivers. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, guys, you know, one of the more interesting types of analyses here, look at his location distribution. Well, he's wanting to keep the ball down, and that's a smart thing, but he's been going too far down in the strike zone. He's missing a lot more than he usually does. Well, even if the ball's down in the zone, though, he's got to keep oh. it to the edges. He's leaving it too much over the middle part of the plate. Even though it's down, he's got to work an edge. Here's a swing and a ground ball played by Reyes. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. And it'll be the Blue Jays coming right up. End of the order, ready to do some work at the plate. And Emilio Bonifacio to lead it off. And a swinging strike on the first pitch from Sanchez, 0-1. And Emilio Bonifacio looks at that one for a ball. That will leave it up the count. Let's take a look here at how he's been mixing up his pitches so far in this game. Yeah, the thing about it is he's keeping his team in the game. And aside from a few mistakes, he's throwing. There's a ground ball. 
That's going to bring up Jose Reyes. Well, when you're the manager, nothing pleases you more than getting that leadoff hitter on base in the inning because statistically it'll show you that they usually end up scoring. Last time up, flew out. Here's the first pitch. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Peralta, one. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play, not quite enough time to get him. And Melky Cabrera up. First time up, he got a nice double that came off Sanchez. Well, able to get a hit on the fastball last time around. You've got to be looking for it this time around. And if he gets his pitch belt high, look for him to try to drive it and hit it out of the ballpark. Bonifacio's over at first. He's running, heading for second. Ball! And he's in there at second base. They've got to take the chance when they get the opportunity, and he steals second base here. I think he extended that lead a little bit. Probably should have been a throw over. Sanchez gets set and delivered. Ooh, that looked pretty good. But he falls behind, 2-0. Oh. Well, what's really interesting in the year for Cabrera and what wasn't? Got off to the red-hot start, made his way to the All-Star game, won the MVP award, but then he ran into some issues and that cost him the rest of the year. Fastball, called strike two and one. And for Cabrera, it really did put an abrupt end to his season. He was hitting 346. He had 11 homers, 60 RBIs. Ah, oh, there goes Bonifacio. Safe. He gets in there. Now he got a huge lead off second base here, and that was the key. Got in easily. Even the third baseman knew that that was going to be a stolen base before the pitch was thrown. He set the 3-1. 3-1 a fastball. Swung out and missed. Full count. He looked really out of sync on that swing. Swung late. Looks like he wasn't anticipating the fastball. The full count pitch. Cabrera will foul that one away. The payoff pitch. Here's Sanchez. Cabrera again fouling it off. Well, so many hitters would have given up on that pitch, but not this guy. This is why he's such a great battler and a great competitor. He fouls that 3-2 pitch off to see another one. And that missed ball four. They'll put the double play in order, though, with one away. That'll bring the big bat of Jose Bautista up. Okay, with that walk, they put the go-ahead run on base with one out in this inning. You've got to be careful right here. Try to get a double play ball. Cabrera at first. Bonifacio's anchored at third. Head up the middle. Well, two outs now. Those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead intact. Here's Edwin Encarnacion with two down. What a phenomenal effort. I mean, Sanchez has been so, so good. Phenomenal. How's he delivering on these first pitches? Let's look and see. Talk about the importance of first pitch strikes. Well, this shows you here he's retired six hitters in this game after he's thrown a first pitch strike. Starts him out here. Ball. Too low on that one for a ball. 1-0. If you're going to miss with a slider, that's exactly where you want to miss. Down and out of the zone. Ready with a 1-0. There's a ground ball. Infante feels it. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. They pick up no runs on a hit, and they leave 2-1. No production yet from Toronto. And Prince Fielder up. Morrow gets set and delivers. That's at the knees for a called strike. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. 
Here's the pitch. Swung on, liner to right. And that'll bring Victor Martinez up to hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. He manages to drive that high 0-1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch recognition. Sure looked like the hitter had decided he wasn't going to get behind 0-2. He was going to wail. Uh, he was aggressive, no question about it. Got a pitch he could handle and took advantage. 0 for 1 thus far. And Aaron Seavey is setting his target. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Uh, he just reared back and said, here it comes, big boy. Here comes my best fastball. He busted him inside with it. No balls. One strike. Here is Morrow. Martinez makes contact. Fouled it away. Oh. Morrow gets set and delivers. Swung on and a ground at a first. And he cannot come up with it. But he recovers in time. Makes the play. Good work. He makes a nice play to get the lead runner at second base with a strong, accurate throw. Good footwork. They just couldn't get the double play. It's Dirks at the plate. A career 267 number off the Blue Jays. Here's the first pitch. And a swinging strike on Moreau's pitch. Whoa, fella, you got to back off a little bit there now. It's a power curveball, but you have to sit back and wait for it to get in the zone. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Can't get him to chase the fastball. Low, one and two. Well, now he can follow that low fastball with an off-speed pitch, or he can come back with another fastball. 1-2 pitch coming. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. That's one. Not in time to end Canacion. They'll only get one. Well, quick release by the third baseman. They get the lead runner at second, just not able to turn the double play. Here's Johnny Peralta now with two down. Had a base hit his last time up. Here's the first one. Moreau gets that one in there. Solid contact made, but that foul ball up in the air is going to be off on the right wow. side. Here's the pitch. Peralta wow. fouls off another. A swing and a foul off to the right side. And Moreau's pitch too low, taken for a ball. And good eye there by Johnny Peralta to even the count. It's hit foul by Peralta. Well, anytime you have two strikes, if you look at the pitch coming out of the pitcher's hand and you think it's going to be a borderline pitch, you better swing. You don't leave it in the hands of the umpire. Oh. Take your chances, and that's what he did. He fouled it off. Now he's going to see another one. Oh. And Morrow misses outside. Take it for a ball. Full count pitch. And a ground ball in Canacion. And he'll step on first to retire the side. We love to see that kind of performance, and it's repeated. Brandon Morrow. And what he needs is some run support, trailing after allowing just the one run through four. And it'll be the Blue Jays coming right up. Five, six, seven hitters to get things started. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. It's Rasmus at the plate. 
It's hit foul by Rasmus. Foul. Here's the pitch. Ball. Good patience as Colby Rasmus lets that one go by, and the count is even. But okay, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, you know, they've only gotten two hits, so they're going to have to really evaluate what they should be looking for at the plate, and maybe they need to be a little bit more patient and make them work. Two one on the way. Ball three. Two one pitch, a fastball outside. Three one. We have seen a great pitching performance on the mound and a tremendous use of that strike zone that's been on display here. Well, he's had a great rhythm going in this game today. He's not afraid to move the ball around and pitch aggressively ball in the ball. zone. And good pitch selections, I think, too, Steve. He's definitely got a recipe with a combined and effective approach. A good eye at the plate right there. He showed the discipline to lay off of that inside pitch. So, Brett Laurie will come up next. Oh, Gary, that walk right there is the tying run in this game. That's not how you want to make the opposition do it. Make them earn it. And he'll start him out Ball. off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Stevie knows he's really got a pitch now. He's put himself in a situation where he's really brought pressure on himself. Uh, you know, these are the type of innings you get really big on you right here. It's about damage control. I know you put the tying run on, but you've got a bear down right here. Pitch on the way. And that's taken outside for a ball two, one strike count. Cruz to hit well, going four for six against Sanchez. Ball. And now Brad Laurie, he has the count in his favor. It goes to three and one. Well, that's where you look for a changeup from the pitcher away in the strike zone. If they look for it and get it, they can really shoot that thing the other way and do some damage. Pitcher tried to expand the strike zone to get the hitter to chase, but he didn't chase. Take your base. So, key moments in a ball game come and go. This one's here, and so's Adam Lynn. Now, Gary, you don't want to do this in this kind of a situation. You know, put a walk on base with a guy who's the go-ahead run in the game. That's a mistake. Laurie on first. Rasmus is on second. Oh. That swung on, hit on the ground. Goes foul. And what he's done here in this situation with the walk coming where it did, Steve, is, is really give oh. the offense a lot of options. Now, as a pitcher, you can't try to miss bats. Go at them, throw strikes, make them put it in play, let the defense work. Oh. Yo, a little low. Got it in the dirt, but he held on. He's ready. Sanchez with a 2-1. Oh. Taps this one foul to the right. Ball three. Mm. Very close. Full three and two. The 3-2 pitch. Ball oh, four. my. Is he wild right now? That could be trouble. Well, if you're a batting coach, this is what you preach to your hitters. Be very disciplined at the plate. If he throws a strike, go ahead and let it rip. But if he doesn't, be patient with him, work your walks, make him throw a lot of pitches and get in that bullpen. And it's Aaron Sebia coming up. And he's got a shot here to give his club the lead. Just one swing could do it. Well, this is what you're waiting for, this kind of opportunity to change the oh. game, and your pitcher then can go out with much more confidence. He said bat underway, 1-0 after that first pitch missed. Oh, we've got a pitcher in trouble out there right now, Gary. We three walks in this inning. He has lost the strike zone. No luck that time for Sanchez as he misses inside. And Steve, talking about losing the strike zone, he's on the verge of coming out of this ball game. He's got probably one more batter. Well, this is a recipe for disaster because he's got to throw it in the zone here at some point. He could get pounded. Swings and misses at that fastball. Now it's two and one. Well, he's real aggressive on a 2-1 count, Gary, so I'm figuring I'm going to use that aggressiveness against him and see if I can't get him to chase my pitch. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it's going to be Hunter. 
One away. Well, that's a big first out of this inning. Now let's see if he can come back and get out of this thing unscathed. Chance to drive in a run, Emilio Bonifacio. He's picked up a one-for-one one so far. Success today against Sanchez. You know, he might want to go to the four-seam fastball again, but after the hit he gave up the last time, you may want to wait till the right time in the count to go there. Well, and you know, Steve, with the single he got last time he was up, nobody crossed home, but that same hit here could mean big things up on that scoreboard. Bases are loaded here with only one away. Looked like the circle changed, and it just misses. 1-0. Fourth inning of this game, and right now he's finding himself over 20 pitches here. That is eating away at his overall pitch count total, so uh, he may not be around for long. Emilio Bonifacio swings and misses, and the count now is even. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. And he watches one at the knees, and it's one and two. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pitch. The one-two on its way. You're out. Swing and a miss. Three strikes on Emilio Bonifacio, and that will set him down. With two strikes, the hitter won at the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. So, Jose Reyes is batting. 25 career at bat, six hits off Annabelle Sanchez. First one to Reyes. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit. And that's a base hit. Reyes now on board. And they get the time run home. He scores, counted, and no longer tied. So that's going to bring in two. Steve looked like he had to go down to get that one. That's a, that's a big, tough hit. Well, I tell you, he's battling at the plate. That's an outstanding at bat, the way he goes down on that ball, picking up two big runs here. And Melky Cabrera up. And this could be a turning point in this ballgame, guys. Getting that edge so important, and they've done it here. And I like the piece of hitting we just saw there, guys. This is the sort of offense that can set the tone as the game progresses. First pitch on the way. And a swinging strike on the first pitch from Sanchez, 0-1. And, and uh, I agree with John, especially about setting the tone here, a very important part of the game, Steve. Well, and I think it's important, guys. You know, you look at this pitching right now, they have to try to do everything they can to counteract this momentum. They want to get through this inning without surrendering any more runs. The pitch. Swings hits this one. It's going to be fielded by Jackson. And that one's put away to retire the side. Boy, that'll beat out your arm. 28 pitches for three outs. The Blue Jays gaining the upper hand here. And it's Alex Avila to lead us off. 0 for 1 thus far. We'll see what he sees first here. Swung on line to right center field. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. But well, what a great swing right there. And anytime you can put yourself in scoring position with no outs, you're looking for big things to happen. And in Fonte's batting. And he throws the first one. And Moreau gets it by. Called strike one. 0-1. Now well, he's got that power curveball working. When you throw it away from the hitter with that kind of consistency, you're going to be successful. Omar and Fante not biting on that one. It's a ball. Evens the count. No hits. One at bat. Lifetime off Brandon Morrow. Here's the pitch. And the called strike is taken by Infante. 
You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. The one-two pitch. You're fastball up. swung out and missed. Struck him out one away. Good velocity on that. You can get away with making some mistakes at that kind of number. Well, back-to-back -back pitches that just did the job beautifully. John, I, I think those last fastballs actually threw off his timing. He looked like he might have been looking for something else. Yeah, that's a difficult part of hitting. If you're looking for a breaking ball and you get a fastball, it can make you look bad. So with the one away, here's Austin Jackson. A swinging strikeout ended his last at bat. First pitch to him. And it goes foul. Brandon Morrow gets that big pitch for a strike, and he's up. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Swing and a miss. That's it. Austin Jackson retired on the K. Here's the four-seam fastball coming at you in K-Cam. Get a better look. And I like the mentality he showed with those last two pitches, both fastballs. And John, uh, he might have been looking for something else. He wasn't able to get any kind of contact. But when you got the confidence in your fastball like that, you can throw them back to back. Usually, though, you're trying to mix it up. Torrey Hunter, he's got a runner in scoring position. And Aaron Sebia setting his target. One. And Moreau gets it by. Called strike one. 0-1. One, one. Here it comes. Ball. And Torrey Hunter watches that one go by. Evens it up. The one thing we know is he's not going to take a borderline pitch at 1-1. One, one. He likes to swing the bat. So I'm not giving him anything too fine and see if I can. Swung on, that is hit. Look out, off the pitcher, it bounds away. Yeah. Throws to first side, is retired. And so a good inning from Brandon Morrow. He's still looking to preserve the lead for the win. And it'll be the Blue Jays coming right up. And for those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Jose Bautista now will stand in. And the bottom half of the fifth now. One ball count. one -oh on the way. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 101. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Swing and a miss on a ball off the plate. Ball and two strikes. Well, that change up down on the way is so tough. It's really one of those ones. All you can do is spoil it and hope to get the next one. The one-two on its way. There's a swing and a ground ball. Played by Peralta. One away. Routine ground ball to short. He makes it look routine. Retires another. One down. Here's Edwin Encarnacion. You look at a guy who came out of nowhere and had a gigantic power year. Edwin Encarnacion surprised a lot of people. Sanchez gets set and delivers. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Those power numbers, Encarnacion, 42 home runs for him. Previous career high had been just 26. Steve, that is an enormous leap, and he hit 280 with 110 RBI. You know, it's funny. This guy's always been a pretty good player with pretty good power. It looked to me like he figured something out a little bit. More patience, better pitches, and hitting the ball out of the ballpark. A lot like Jose Batista, his teammate, did in Toronto. And he leaves that one alone. Edwin Encarnacion showing some patience, even in the count. Well, looking at this guy's pitch count, he's up over 80 pitches thus far. You wonder how long they're going to let him go. 
Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Swung on, hit hard by Encarnacion. And goodbye, home run. The production for the Jays goes on. And now the lead is up to two. The solo home run, a bit of a patty. That ball driven to the right center field gap, and it just kept on going like a two iron. What a shot. There is a click of the bat when you hit one that hard, and you could hear it on that contact. I think everybody knew it as soon as he hit it. Well, for the Blue Jays, they've had no problem extending this lead and just continue to pour on the offense in what's been a great display by this lineup. They've been able to expand the lead, and that's making it a lot harder to catch them now. Here's the first pitch to Rasmus. And Sanchez has him 0-1 with that called strike. And Steve, a big fly like that, suffice it to say, unnerving for a pitcher right now. Got to focus on getting out of the inning. And this has put the necessary pressure on their offense now. Definitely has. Swing hits this one pretty well. Deep right center. That one, a one-hopper off the wall. Take a look down there in the bullpen. They've got a lefty up and throwing. Well, I, I don't see him coming in just yet. I mean, with a, with a righty in the on-deck circle, I don't think that's the matchup they want. And so with one out, they've got a man on second. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And by the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Now, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. The pitch. Laurie swings and misses for strike one. How's he been getting strikes? Let's take a look at his approach today. Well, that's the story of the game. The great approach he's had going inside and outside to both lefties and righties. A balanced approach with his repertoire. Well, John, that's exactly the point. That balanced approach makes it unpredictable for the hitter. They can't sit in any one pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Brett Laurie, he is struck out. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. RBI situation, Adam Lynn. A lifetime 290 hitter against the Tigers. Two outs and a runner on second. You have two outs here in the inning. Only need one more. The last thing you want is a big two-out hit. They're not going to chance it with this guy. Yeah, but I don't understand this. You've already got two outs in the inning, and this guy isn't one of the better hitters in the game. Go at him. Challenge him. Show something. And it's Aaron Sebia coming up. 0 for 2 thus far. Gary, although they have a lead, it still is fairly a close ball game right here. You have speed at second base. I might give him the green light and see if he can get over to third. Strike started off the at bat 0 and 1. He is 0 for 1 off Sanchez. He deals. And JP Arancibia looks at that one. It's a ball. That's going to even up the count. Well, this lineup really making him work in this inning deeper into the game. And this is where you're a little bit fatigued. And boy, throwing up over 20 pitches in inning is tough. Missed with the fastball outside, two and one. The two one pitch. JPR and CBS swings and misses, and that count is even. 
Well, with a couple strikes on him, Gary, I'm going to go right at him with a slider now. He struggles with that pitch. Check swing, strike three called, side retired. And so Annabel Sanchez heads to the dugout. He's given up one home run in the ballgame. Next up, Tigers. And for those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And here's Miguel Cabrera. Drove in a run earlier in the game. And leading off the sixth inning, we start it with a 1-0 count. Well, he missed with the first pitch, so I'm betting he's going to come back with the fastball right here as he's done in the past. One one. Strike one. Morrow evens the count. But Gary, the numbers seem to indicate he likes to go fastball on a 1-1 count trying to get back ahead again. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And, oh, Cabrera hit this hard. Tell it goodbye. Excellent job with a big fly ball. Now they trail by only one. Probably thinking about the matchups here as we check the bullpen. Left-handers throwing. Oh, that's right. I think they're getting him loosened up to face the hitter in the on-deck circle. Well, take a look at this great piece of hitting right here. Pitch down and away. A pitcher's pitch. Tell you what, that's outstanding. Just tip your hat. Boy, did he get that bat through the strike zone in a hurry. You know, for the Tigers, they've drawn closer in this, but they still need more hits. Still got to get some work done. Somebody else is going to have to step up and do it. Morrow gets set and delivers towards center field. And that gets the tying run on board. And that'll bring Victor Martinez up to hit. Well, he clearly was anticipating fastball. He jumped all over it, gripping himself a base hit to center field. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. And starts him out here. Oh. Martinez makes contact. Fouled it away. Now Aaron Sebia spots the pitch. Two. That's a strike and it's 0-2. And Martinez now will go into protecting that zone. Boy, what's been working for this guy on the mound? Here's a look at the quality strikes he's thrown. Well, what stands out is when he's been most successful is when he's hitting. Swung on and ripped towards second. Oh, and he dropped it. Well, they get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. It's Dirks at the plate. Morrow gets set and delivers. And he lays off that pitch upstairs, ball one. Well, the starting pitcher right now is over 80 pitches, and this is a time when the manager and the pitching coach have to keep an eye and see if his velocity is dropping. If it is, you might want to think about getting him out. Oh. And the catcher not able to hang on to that one. Swing and a rocket towards short. That's one out. Over to first. He is safe. Almost a double play. Not quite enough time. But Gary, I tell you, I probably would have let this starter go a little bit longer. I mean, better safe than sorry, but 
why burn the bullpen this early in the game if you don't have to? Save them, keep them fresh, make them right for the end of the game. Oh, Martinez trying to steal. Oh. Oh. And he is out trying to take second. Narrow their deficit a bit. They pick up a run on the dinger. Tigers really battling here to get into this game. And Emilio Bonifacio to lead it off. He struck out swinging in that last at bat against Sanchez. A rough time putting the bat on that two seam. Smash towards the hole. This is placed perfectly for a base hit. That's going to bring up Jose Reyes. Well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if right. they can get him around to score a run. Well, today started not overly sharp, didn't have his best stuff. Kept his team close, but now it's going to come down to the late innings of the game, and can the bullpen get the job done? He had a two-run single in his last appearance. We'll try it again here, just one for three thus far, and get set for the first pitch. In the infield, Avila. And his throw is in time for out number one. You want to get runners in scoring position, and sometimes you have to lay the ball down and get them advanced. That's what he did right there. And if this runner scores, we'll go back and take a look at what just happened and say thank you very much. Good team baseball right there. Melky gets the RBI chance. Flew out last time. One on, one out. And he dives back safely. And the first pitch. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. Sometimes when the pitch comes out of the pitcher's hand, you have to say to yourself, I'm going to lay off and wait for the next one. He didn't think you could catch up to it. Good decision. Swing and a line at a right center. They set, maybe two. They'll try and bring Bonifacio home. And he's in there. Well, a lot of hitters like that ball middle in, but middle off the plate, that's a tough pitch to hit. It tells you just how strong this guy is to be able to fight that pitch off to get that hit. And Jose Bautista at the plate, a runner on first. And the theme here, repeating guys, that this offense just continues to expand the lead. And at this point in the ball game, guys, even having the narrow lead that they do, it's really key because they needed the production and they got it. We'll see what he sees first here. Slider just misses one and all. And when you talk about clutch performances, you look back to the production as we just saw from this lineup when they needed it most. And that's a momentum builder. Players feed oh. off of that with each other. This offense putting a lot of pressure on the pitcher. The 2-0 pitch. He looks at that fastball. Called strike. 2-1. Career batting average, big time. 4-0-3 off Detroit. Well, and you know, Gary, a lot of times you just see the other team's jersey and you know you have the confidence that you can hit against them. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Infante. He lengthens himself. And the throw is just in time to get him at second. Great play. Nice diving stop to get that force at second base. Well, pretty darn good play right there to track it down, then pivot and get the force. Here's that one on Canacion with two down. He homered earlier in the ball game. Starts him out here. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. 
But once you make the decision to swing, you have got to swing the bat. He waited a little too long. He wanted to swing a little earlier. His indecisiveness, though, caused him to swing late and miss it. This one's grounded foul, wide of first. That's a foul ball. Well, even though you're in the defensive mode like this batter is, there's still no guarantee you're not going to strike out. 0-2 count, very difficult not to strike out, but he's doing everything he can. He took that low pitch to foul it off. Let's see what happens here. So they score once on two hits, one man left. Blue Jays out in front by two. Manager's game plan. Let's see how it's playing out for Jim Leland. And at this point in this game, thinking about offense, I'm sure he also needs some quality pitching. He's got to give his bats a chance to get back. Popped him up. One away. This is the first baseman's ball all the way. He takes charge and puts it away. One down. Here's Alex Avila. Had a double his last time up. There's a strike. Oliver got him looking. Went out right here, up by two in the inning. You want to limit base runners and make plays. Try to, to eliminate the lead runner, but get outs if you can. Oh. Good eye by Alex Avila as he lays off that pitch, and that'll even up his count. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. And Reyes is there. Two away. Got him off balance. Got him up front a little bit. Easy pop-out to the shortstop. And Infante's batting. Lifetime, he's picked up no hits. Three at-bats off Darren Oliver. Watches a changeup go by for strike one. Well, offensively here in the seventh inning with two outs, you cannot just lay down here and say, well, we'll start it off next inning. You got an out left here in the seventh. See what you can do to generate one. Pick up one if you can, and then hope maybe that you can start to finish it off later. Looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. Well, he's in trouble right here, Gary. He knows it. He knows he gets a little overly aggressive on the 0-2 pitch. Let's see how good a pitch they give him. One Tries two. to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's 1-2. and two. Swing, hot shot. Oh, man, that hit the pitcher. Yeah, yeah. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Little warm up action going in the bullpen. That's a right hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then they'll probably make the move to the pen. No hits, nobody left on, and a good defensive half inning. Blue Jays still out in front. Middle of the lineup, due up. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. It's Rasmus at the plate. He's going to get things started off for us here after the seventh inning stretch. 0-1 the count as we get going here in the bottom of the seventh. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Here's the delivery. There's a ground ball to Fielder. And out number one as he steps on the base. One away, and here is Brett Laurie. He's three for 11 career off the Tigers. The 
And he'll start him out. There's a ground ball. Oh, and he bobbles this thing. But he stays with it. Gets the out. That's how you do it. And Lynn's batting. Drew a walk his last time. Now Avila sets up. Right Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Well, boy, wouldn't you have loved to seen him connect with that one to see how far that would go. Fastball hitter on fastball pitcher, but he came up empty. Strike and with two strikes on him, Adam Lind will protect the strike zone right here. Swung out and missed. That's going to be strike three, and Adam Lind is gone. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. Blue Jays, four. Tigers, two. It's going to be Jackson now. His last at bat, he ended with a swinging strikeout. And uh, we'll get to see. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. This one to Rasmus. As he gets to it for the out. The center fielder has a good angle to run this one down. He calls off the left fielder. Great catch. And it's Torrey Hunter at the plate with one away. And that's a ball. Sato's too far outside that time. You know, you're up by two uh, runs here with one out. And obviously, you know, this is where you want to try to just get another out. Take away any hope they have. Try to get back in the dugout. See if you can put on some more runs before they come back up again to try to expand the lead. Swing and a miss. Hunter can't make contact. Count now even. That's a pretty nice pitch right there. Going with the fastball. Forced him into that awkward swing. Hunter fouls that one away. Oh! You're out. And Torrey Hunter's come up empty with that swing. Strike three, he's gone. You talk about a guy who had full command of his pitches. Only four of them, but he located and executed them perfectly. And as a result, uh, this game stays close late. Yeah, and you got to battle a little better than that. You just can't let a pitcher go in there and get four quick pitches and get a big strikeout. You got to battle better than that. Two outs and in the box, Miguel Cabrera had a home run back in the sixth. The pitch goes from Santos too high for a ball. Well, it's two outs here in the eighth right now. I think defensively you've got to be looking to make a play. Get the out, get your team back in the dugout. You don't want doubles. You don't want the ball hit over your head. You want to play no double situation right here where the defense is back so they cannot come back and narrow this gap. Swung and a fly ball. And it goes foul. A swing and put in play. There's Rasmus. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. And it is that time in modern Major League Baseball. You got that lead late in the ball game. Here's that closer, Steve. Now the specialist, the guy who can slam the door with the lead, who can get the final out of the game. 
No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. Toronto not letting this lead go. Two-run lead for his club, hoping to come away with a win. So Arancibio will lead it off. There's a ground ball. Peralta with the pickup. One down. And we've got Bonifacio batting. He singled and later scored in his last time up. Here's the pitch. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Well, he really wanted that when a fastball just below the knees, and he didn't get the call. Here's the 1-0. Emilio Bonifacio swings and misses, and the count now is even. Well, great pitch selection right there with that fastball. He's looking off speed. You could tell by the swing, and the fastball surprised him. Swing and a miss on the slider. One and two. And Emilio Bonifacio not looking for that one. That is strike three. Okay, so it doesn't have much movement, but it did hit 99 on the gun. And, well, you don't want to get caught looking at a fastball like that. They set him up beautifully with the change of speed, but you still think he'd be able to at least try and take a hack. So Jose Reyes will try and keep it going. Last time through, he had a sacrifice bunt. First pitch of the A.B. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone with that four-seamer. And it's 0-2. Reyes is going to be swinging at anything close. Now this breaking ball down and in that goes to the back foot of the hitter is very difficult to hit. Very few guys are able to put that one in play. You're out. Oh, it's strike three. Reyes didn't even take a hack at it. He's back. And so out of the inning, only eight pitches thrown. That's pretty efficient. Next up, Tigers. Let's check out this ball game and uh, see what Jimmy Leland maybe thinks of it. On his mind right now, well, ninth inning strategy to get this thing tied back. That one's drilled to short. Oh, and that one eats him up. But he recovers in time, makes the play. Good work. Well, one out here in the ninth inning, they still need two, so they need to get people on and advance base runners. Do what they have to do to get runners in scoring position and hope they run into that clutch base hit, Gary. And Victor Martinez now with one away. Jansen with a pitch. Martinez wow. makes contact, fouled it away. There's a swing and a drive, deep right field. As he retreats back for it and gets the out. Well, it's, it's, uh, their hope is dwindling right now. Down by two, one out left to play with, and they're going to have to try to come up with some big hits right here to try to win this one, Gary. It's Dirks at the plate. Hasn't had much success yet in this game. He's hoping to get something this time. Now the first pitch. There's the inside pitch from Jansen. That curveball inside right there. Pretty good pitch, but if he leaves it over the plate, he's going to get hurt. Here's the 1-0. The 1-0 delivery is a fastball. Can't make contact strike one. 
Well, that's just a great pitch. He just blew that fastball right by him. The 1 1 pitch. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's 2 and 1. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Fouled away. Here's the pitch. Fastball well off the mark, and it's full three and two. On a two seam fastball down of the way, trying to get the hitter to roll his hands over to get the ground ball. He just laid off, though. The three two pitch. Refuses to go after it. Missed. Ball four. What a successful approach at the plate right there. Wearing out the pitcher's arm through a very, very long at bat. Now, let's see what he can do with this next hitter. And here is Johnny Peralta. And he starts him out. They set up away. Cutter misses. 1 0. One zero now. Ball Fastball two. low, two and zero. Now the two open up the middle. The infield played it deep, like they knew he was going to swing away. He did, but was still able to find a hole. Here is a chance for Alex Avila. Big opportunity here for the Tigers. Two down. Runners at first and second. Here's the pitch. Holds back and it's a called strike on the inside part of the plate on one. Pitch on the way. Hit on the ground. This could be the end. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. It's time now to recognize our player of the game. The standout man who was on offense today, Jose Reyes. One big hit that, that can change the difference of a ball game. And that's what happened today. This hitter came up with that big clutch hit, so he's our obvious choice for player of the game. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game, a lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. And we hope you've enjoyed today's 2K sports broadcast of Major League Baseball. For Steve John and our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. We will see you soon.